It's time. What time is it? It's time to talk about some legs. It's time to talk about some legs. Are we talking about chicken legs? Oh, uh, we're. we're I, think, I think the problem is we are talking about chicken legs, right? So, so I'm gonna start this off with math, right? Because because YouTube loves math, right? And he has a marketing degree. So, what better man? So, so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this. Out. I'm gonna start with the math and turn it over to these guys, right? So, legs are 50% of your body, right? You got your upper half and your lower half. So, bottom half, and your legs are 50%. So, most people train five days a week. And if you hit leg once a week, 20%. 20%. Thank you. 20% of the time you train legs for what's 50% of your body. Does that make sense? Discuss. Sounds legit. Amen. Legit? Okay, done. Video <laughs> over. <laughs> Pause this thing, right? But seriously, think about this. If legs are 50% of your body, why are you training them 20% of the time? What do you think? What do you think, Joe? That's a good place to start, man. Look, what we what we find, especially in Australia, a lot is you'll be lucky first of all if guys train legs at all. <laughs> Just wear pants. Just the first thing. Does everybody have kangaroo legs? To actually, yeah. <laughs> we don't have chicken legs in Australia. We've got kangaroo legs. Nice. Like, we're skinny legs. <laughs> But if you can get guys to train legs once a week, that you you know you you've accomplished something there. The thing is, is if you're serious about about building your body, obviously legs are part of your body, so you have to be building your legs. If you're serious about building your legs, there's just no way that you can stimulate all the leg growth that you can possibly stimulate in one workout per week. You can't go into a gym and do squats, leg press, lunges, back squats, leg extensions, hamstring curls, stiff leg deadlifts, good morning, seated calf raise, standing calf raise, leg press calf raise. That's what- Are you training for a day? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what we did last time training legs. You, okay. just, you just can't do it. You, and even if you did do it, your hormone response for training for three hours oh, yeah. is gonna be completely screwed up. So you can't you can't build a good set of legs training them once a week. No, no. I, I believe I, I believe you know we got on this whole thing where leg day was one day, back, chest, and, and you know what? I blame the bros for that. I do. No. I take full accountability for that. I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, what I found my best growth comes. A lot of bodybuilders have switched this too, and they even did it back in the day with flex. I know yeah. Cormier used to do it. All those guys used to do it. I used to work at Weeder. This is how I know. I remember those crappy articles we wrote. <laughs> okay, the bottom line is, is what they do is they split quads and hams. That's one way you want to do it. These are, your legs should be, unfortunately Aaron said your legs are 50% of your body. For the guys I see at my gym, more like 10. <laughs> it should be. It's amazing how they don't just fucking snap out from underneath them. Now, here's the thing, and, and, and leg day, I mean, people go, oh, I'm not going to get full bro on you. I don't believe the hormonal response from training really means F all. I believe you either have tests or you don't. I, I think it's, it's minute, it's acute. It, it might help a little, but I'm not going to say train legs because it's like you're on steroids. Your body starts releasing all this testosterone. I've read that in articles. Leg training is not like taking steroids. Let's just get that out the, out the gate. But to build a complete physique and also think about, we were talking about abs a video ago, right? Think about all the stimulation you're getting when yeah. you're training legs. Mm -hmm. Even on leg press, you have to tighten your abs to keep from, you know, getting messed up. And also, if you need to, I like wearing a belt. Here's why I like wearing a belt. Talking about abs again. Yeah. The belt's main thing is actually increase your intra-abdominal pressure by pushing out against the belt. So, if you want to wear a belt, makes you feel comfortable, go ahead and wear it. If you're a natural guy, train naked for all I care. But fucking train legs. Yeah. Another thing I'm going to say, is this a num another number thing? Okay. When guys go in and train arms, they're hitting their biceps, which have two muscles. <clears throat> the triceps have three muscles. When you train the legs, your quads, you got four muscles. Your hamstrings, what, five? Five muscles in I your hand. There's five muscles in your and hand. Then muscles, and then three muscles. Because it attaches to your glutes anyway. And, and then yeah, in your yeah, glutes, yeah. you've got three muscles. Right. So and there's your calves. A, you're forgetting and your calves. calves as well. There's not two muscles. Right. So there's 13 muscles. Well, Joe has about. I, I, think, I think it's a, it's a shit ton of muscles. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a shit ton of muscles. That's the second muscle. So when you're, doing, so when you're doing a squat, you're recruiting 13 muscles. Yeah, yeah. In, in a single way. Plus everything else that's so supporting you, yeah. right? Plus your upper body. Right. right. And your abs and your core, right? Yeah. I mean, so you think about it, like, like you've you got to work your legs. You want, if you, I think one thing that we've been doing, I mean, we've been doing legs twice a week for a long time, yes. but as we've split it recently, you know, you can go to the gym, you do legs for three hours, right? Which is, we, we just annihilated that. But people do that all the time. Then they can't walk the rest of the week. Yeah. And, and so that screws up the rest of your training. Do it like, you break it apart, you do two, one hour sessions, right? Instead of one three hour session, and I think you get more results because your body has a chance to recover. You can do all your other stuff. You want to do hit. You want to do other stuff. You want to play with your kids. You can actually do it. Three hours of legs. It's going to be sort of debilitating for a couple. Of we days. actually always, for some reason, schedule our conditioning practices on leg day. <laughs> it always works that way. And you know what? It doesn't matter how little we train. We're always sore the next day because exactly. of the amount of volume right. running up hills adds to that. So, <laughs> so you know, the bottom line is, I think. Um, 
I think, Steve, you need to close this one out, man. What do you so, recommend? Because the people, yeah. the comments... Hit them with the we don't tell us, go. The, the comments are going to blow up and say, okay, you guys have talked about this. What do you actually recommend? What do we recommend? What do we recommend? Hitting quads and glutes. Which is what we do, Joe. Together. Yeah. We're training hammies and calves. Yeah. With like a, what, two to three day break in between. Two to three. So Monday, and then we hit it again on Thursday. So yeah, or Monday and Friday. Monday and Friday. Friday whatever out. it is. Either way, it works out great. Or if you go non-linear, I think there's this perfect. Some people do their splits not based on a seven-day week, but based on just whatever. Because yeah. right. your body doesn't know. If, uh, Dorian said this best. Yeah. Here. Your body doesn't know it. and if it's fucking Monday or Friday. Your body's fucking stupid. Yeah, but people are like, if you have to work, right? If you yeah, work Monday through Friday, then you, have, you, have, you, know, then you have to do that, right? So the week works for most people. Like us. But I think the point is, right, find the split that works for you. Right, and it, and, and you, you try something like a quads and glutes, and you do a hamstrings and, and calves, and switch it up a couple times. It's all right, yeah. right? But mix it up, and, and and I think it's people are going to get really good results when they do that. Nice around your lifestyle as well. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Subscribe the Tiger Fitness. Subscribe Massive Joe's. Where are we coming to you from, guys? Aaron's basement in <laughs> Elgin, <laughs> Illinois. Down though. Stay massive. It's not a game. Boom. <laughs>